hello friends welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well in this video we are going to solve remaining question of i am olympiad workbook chapter 2 competition operation for class 5 for first 15 question watch part 1 video link is given in description please watch video and do like share and subscribe my channel let's start with question number 16 in a school there are 704 desks to be placed in 22 classrooms if the same number of desks are placed in each classroom, then how many desks will be there in each classroom? So here given total number of desks are 704 and there are total 22 classrooms. Here we have to equally divide 704 desks into 22 classrooms. We need to divide 704 by 22. 22 threes are 66 4 remaining this is above 4 then 22 twos are 44 so there will be 32 desk in each classroom a is correct answer. question number 17 the sum of third multiple of 3 and fifth multiple of 5 is divisible by dash so third multiple of 3 means 3 into 3 so it is 9 and fifth multiple of 5 means 5 into 5 it is 25 and their sum means 34 so 34 is divisible by only 2 so here d is correct answer. question number 18 which of the following could be solved by using the sentence a minus 5 option a ishan is 5 times as old as sanjit if a is a Sanjit's age in year then how old is Ishan so here given A is a Sanjit age and Ishan is five time as old as Sanjit means Ishan weight is 5a so it can be solved using 5a expression option B Tarun is five year younger than Annie if A is Annie's age in years then how old is Tarun? So here given A is a Annie's age and Tarun is 5 years younger than Annie. Means Tarun is smaller than Annie by 5 years. Means A minus 5. So it can be solved by using A minus 5 expression. Option C. Naman is one fifth as old as Aman. If A is Naman's age in year, then how old is Naman? Aman is one fifth as old as Aman means Aman is fifth times old as Naman. And Naman is A, so Aman is 5A. Option D, Geet is 5 years older than Suhana. If A is Suhana's age in year, then how old is Geet? So here A is Suhana's age and Geet is 5 years older than Suhana means Geet's age is a plus 5 so here only option b is solved using a minus 5 so here b is correct answer question number 19 the quotient to n 2 lakh 22 is divided by 24 here we divide 2 lakh 22 by 24 24 into 9 24 into 9 is 216 222 minus 216 is 6 so we take 8 down 24 twos are 48 so here remaining 20 now we take this one down 24 eights are 192 so here 210 minus 192 is 9 so we take 6 down so it will be 96 and 24 fours are 96 so here our co quotient is 9284 so b is correct answer question number 20 maruti motor produce 1,27,695 cars in year 2007, 98,895 cars in year 2008 and 3,5,789 cars in year 2009 
वॉट वॉज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ कार प्रोड्यूस इन ऑल थ्री इयर्स सो हियर वी नीड टू टेक द सम ऑफ ऑल कार्स सो हियर फाइव प्लस फाइव इज टेन टेन प्लस नाइन इज नाइनटीन वन कैरी ओवर सो वन प्लस नाइन इज टेन टेन प्लस नाइन नाइनटीन नाइनटीन प्लस एट ट्वेंटी सेवन टू कैरी ओवर सिक्स प्लस टू इज एट एट प्लस एट सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन प्लस सेवन ट्वेंटी थ्री टू कैरी ओवर सेवन प्लस टू नाइन नाइन प्लस एट सेवनटीन सेवनटीन प्लस फाइव ट्वेंटी टू सो टू कैरी ओवर टू प्लस टू फोर फोर प्लस नाइन थर्टीन थर्टीन प्लस जीरो थर्टीन सो वन कैरी ओवर वन प्लस वन टू टू प्लस थ्री फाइव सो फाइव लैक थर्टी टू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी नाइन कार्स प्रोड्यूस इन ऑल थ्री ईयर ए इज करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन इन अ सर्टन स्टेट फिफ्टी टू लैख सिक्सटी वन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एटी नाइन स्टूडेंट्स वर एनरोल इन वेरियस स्कूल्स ऑफ दिस नाइनटीन लैख सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू थर्टी थ्री स्टूडेंट्स एनरोल इन प्राइमरी स्कूल्स ट्वेंटी लैख सिक्स थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स एनरोल इन हाई स्कूल एंड रेस्ट इन मिडल स्कूल सो यू आर गिवन टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स एनरोल इन प्राइमरी स्कूल एंड स्टूडेंट एनरोल इन हाई स्कूल एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द स्टूडेंट्स एनरोल इन मिडल स्कूल सो वी फर्स्ट टेक द सम ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन प्राइमरी स्कूल एंड स्टूडेंट्स इन हाई स्कूल नाइनटीन लैख सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी थ्री प्लस ट्वेंटी लैक्स सिक्स थाउजेंड सेवन फिफ्टी सिक्स थ्री प्लस सिक्स नाइन थ्री प्लस फाइव एट टू प्लस सेवन नाइन फाइव प्लस सिक्स इलेवन वन कैरी ओवर वन प्लस सिक्स सेवन नाइन प्लस जीरो नाइन एंड वन प्लस टू थ्री थर्टी नाइन लैख सेवेंटी वन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड एटी नाइन स्टूडेंट्स एनरोल इन प्राइमरी एंड हाई स्कूल नाउ वी फाइंड आउट स्टूडेंट्स इन मिडल स्कूल बाई सब्सट्रैक्टिंग टोटल स्टूडेंट माइनस स्टूडेंट्स इन प्राइमरी एंड हाई स्कूल टोटल स्टूडेंट्स आर फिफ्टी टू लैख सिक्सटी वन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड एटी नाइन माइनस थर्टी नाइन लैख सेवेंटी वन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड एटी नाइन विच गिवस दिस नाइन माइनस नाइन जीरो हियर एट माइनस एट जीरो नाइन माइनस नाइन जीरो वन माइनस वन जीरो हियर सिक्सटीन हियर इलेवन सिक्सटीन माइनस सेवन इज नाइन इलेवन माइनस नाइन इज टू एंड हियर फोर फोर माइनस थ्री इज वन ट्वेल्व लैख नाइन्टी थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स आर एनरोल इन मिडल स्कूल Here B is correct answer. Question number twenty-two. Two thousand six hundred and twenty-six bags of marbles were stored in a godown. If each bag contained forty-nine marbles, then find the total number of marbles stored in the godown. So there are total two thousand six hundred and twenty-six bags. Each bag contained forty-nine marbles. so 2626 bags contain how much marbles so here we need to multiply 2626 into 49 which gives 1,28,674 marbles here b is correct answer question number 23 a company on rupees 56,48,000 in a year If total expenses were rupees four lakh seventy four thousand five hundred and ninety six, then how much money was saved? So here company earned total fifty six lakh forty eight thousand rupees, and spent four lakh seventy four thousand five ninety six rupees. To find out the money saved. We have to subtract the total minus spent money, so it gives fifty one lakh seventy three thousand four hundred and four. Money was saved. So here D is correct answer. Question number twenty four. A contractor saying seventy six lakhs ninety five thousand nine hundred and forty bricks for the construction of seventy chambers. 
if an equal number of bricks were required for each chamber then how many bricks were used for each chamber so here given 76 lakhs 95940 bricks and using this total 70 chambers are constructed so to find out the bricks used for one chamber we need to divide 76 lakhs 95940 by 70 so here this zero get cancelled now seven ones are seven here seven ones are seven now we take six six is smaller than seven so we take zero for that now we take this six and nine means 69 seven nines are 63 69 minus 63 is six and this five means 65 seven nines are 63 2 remaining and this 9 means 29 7 4s are 28 29 minus 28 is 1 and this 4 is 14 and 7 2s are 14 means for one chamber 1,9942 bricks were used so here D is correct answer question number 25 each floor of building is fitted with 20 doors there are 12 floors in each building there are 25 such buildings in a complex calculate the total number of doors fitted in the complex on each floor there are 20 doors and total there are 12 floors so for 12 floor 20 into 12 so there are 240 doors and in a complex there are total 25 buildings so in one building 240 doors and for 25 buildings 25 into 240 doors which gives 6000 doors so here c is correct answer. question number 26 find the value of q plus r minus s plus p so here we first find out the value of q r s p first we multiply 108 into 9 which gives 970 here q is 7 now 1069 minus 972 is 97 and this 5 comes down so r is 5 so 975 975 minus 972 so 108 into 9 gives 972 so s is 9 and 9 75 minus 9, 972 gives 3 means p is 3 now we got the value of pqrs so q is 7 plus r is 5 minus s is 9 and p is 3 here 7 plus 5 12 12 minus 9 is 3 and 3 plus 3 is 6 so here D is correct answer. Question number 27. A total of 18,816 tiles were used for decorating the rooms, kitchen and bathroom of all apartments in a building. Each apartment had two rooms, one kitchen, two bathrooms. The number of tiles used are given below. One kitchen is equal to 64 tiles, one room is equal to 84 tiles and one bathroom is equal to 52 tiles. How many apartments are there in the building? Here given number of tile use 18816 and in each apartment there are two rooms means for one rooms 84 tiles so for two rooms 168 tiles one kitchen 64 tiles and two bathrooms for one bathroom 52 tiles so for two bathrooms 52 into 2 104 tiles and to total tiles used in one apartment means 168 plus 64 plus 104 which gives 336 so in one apartment 336 tiles are used and total tiles are 18,816 so we have to find out the number of apartment so we divide 18,816 by 336 which gives 
56 apartment so there are total 56 apartment in the building c is correct answer question number 28 machine a can produce 7500 biscuits in a day which is 240 fewer than what machine b can produce in a day now 20 biscuits are packed in a pack if both machines a and b are used then how many such packs of biscuit will be there after seven days so here given the factory a produced 7500 biscuits which are less than the b produce means b produce more than a by 240 biscuits means b produce is equal to 7500 plus 240 so b produce 7740 and a produce 7500 and we want the total because both machines A and B are used which gives 15,240. So this is for one day and we want for seven days means 15,240 into seven which gives 1,6680. In one pack there are 20 biscuits. We have to find out the how many packs for 1,6680 biscuits so we divide it by 20 so this 0 get cancelled and 2 ones are 2 2 fives are 10 2 threes are 6 2 threes are 6 and 2 fours are 8 so there will be 5,334 packets after 7 days D is correct answer. Question number 29. Jimmy's balance in a bank on 1st November was 58,709. He withdraw rupees 13,090 and 16,518 from his account and deposit rupees 1,680 in his account in that month. What was the balance at the end of the month? So total money he have in bank 58,709 rupees. And he withdraw 13,090 and 16,518. Means total money he withdraw is equal to addition of 13,090 plus 16,518 which gives 29,608. And again he deposited rupees 1,618. 58,709 plus 1,680. So this gives 60,389. So total money he have 60,389 and he withdraw 29,608. Means the balance was 30,781. So here D is correct answer. Question number 30. Find the value of A minus B minus C minus D by completing the given addition matrix so here we first find out the value of a which is equal to addition of these two values which gives 29,655 then value of b is equal to addition of these two which gives 27,205 then we find out the value of c which is the addition of this and this which gives 19,941 and value of D is equal to addition of this two value which gives 17,491 now A minus B so our A is this and B is this so 29,655 minus 27,205 is equal to 2450 now minus now here c minus d so c is this and d is this so this 19941 minus 17491 which gives 2450 and answer of this will come zero so here a is correct answer thank you for watching i hope you like the video do practice well and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.